Hi there, Mike here from Haven of Code, coming at you with a really quick video on how to use Logic Pro's template system. Now, templates can be useful for a couple of uses. One is quite obviously if you don't want your working environment to change every time you run Logic on your machine, say if you were working in industry every day and you needed your environment to be as quick and easy to use as possible, you can make several changes and then save a template and obviously it would it would be then the same every time you opened it up. Another use might be, um, I've got a theme tune which we are designing for the channel at the moment. Dan, who does the Aberson portion of things over on the channel, has designed uh, the graphics and I'm doing the music. And uh, Logic templates may be useful for if I wanted to give him a Logic template uh, so he could open it up on his side of the Atlantic in Logic uh, without any any issues there at all and I could easily find the template file on my system so that uh, it would open up seamlessly on his end. Okay, so I'm going to make a couple of simple changes to this session. Uh, first of all, I'm going to hit I on my keyboard. This will remove the inspector over here um, with all our channel strips in it and then I'm going to head up to the view menu and say hide toolbar simple changes but still changes and let's make one more here we could even get down to as detailed as changing tools up here in the tool menu we are going to change that to a fade tool and the primary tool to a marquee tool. Alright, and now I can go File, Save as Template, and you'll see we get a traditional dialog box up here. I've already created a few, as you'll see, on the right hand side. Um, and all we do is name this, um, I'm going to call it Test2. And hit save. And now, if we <clears throat> quit out of logic and we'll relaunch again and go to new, you'll see that I now have a new folder down the left hand side here called My Templates with all my need specific templates inside it. So if we open up test 2 again, just to prove my point, we now have, if we close this dialog box, we now have the session just as I left it. So, thanks a lot for watching. If you feel that anything was unclear, please find me a comment and I'll be happy to respond to as many as I can. Uh, if you haven't done so already, please subscribe. We know you're out there. Honestly, we do. Uh, and if you would like to give us a like, that would be much appreciated also. Till next time, I have been Mike from Haven of Code, thanks a lot.